Hi. This book will help you learn about the place in which, or rather, on which, you and all other people are living, our planet, called the Earth. We hope that your journey through this book will be an interesting and fun one. And if you ever find that you've forgotten something, you can always open this book and it will all come back to you. Now, go ahead and click to the next page and we'll begin. We will start our journey from out in space. Each and every night, you can see thousands of small, bright stars in the sky. But they only seem small. They are actually huge like the sun, about which you'll learn in the next chapter. Clusters of stars form constellations. A long time ago, people decided that some constellations resembled people and animals, and gave them names like Leo, the Big Dipper, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. In all, scientists have discovered 88 constellations. In your spare time, you can find them all on the Internet, and then in the sky. Planets revolve around stars. A star, together with its planets, forms a system. Our planet is located in the solar system because it orbits a star that is called the Sun. The original name given to the Sun by scientists is Sol, a word from the Latin language. Our planet is the Earth, and besides it, there are seven other planets orbiting the Sun. Now, go ahead and try to find our planet among the others. Some planets have little planets orbiting them. They are called satellites. The Earth also has a satellite, the Moon. You've probably seen how it shines at night. However, it isn't actually shining. It's simply light from the Sun reflecting off its surface. People have always wanted to fly to space and other planets. You have probably seen movies about astronauts and aliens. People haven't yet found aliens, but we're already flying in space and have been for quite some time. The first person to fly into space was the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. And the first people on the moon were the American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Maybe when you grow up, travel to other planets will be as common as traveling to other cities and countries. Our planet is surrounded by the atmosphere. It is precisely because of this that there is life on Earth and we can breathe. The atmosphere consists of five different layers, whose names you can see in the picture. The higher the layer, the colder it is, and the less air it has. In space, there is no air at all. That's why astronauts have to wear special suits, or space suits. Do you know who else has to wear a special suit in order to breathe? Although our planet is called Earth, it isn't only made up of Earth, which is scientifically known as soil. Our planet consists of several layers. Let's look at them. The inner core is located at the center of our planet. It is exceedingly hot and dense and surrounded by the outer core, which is also extremely hot but is liquid. The core is surrounded by the lower mantle, the upper mantle, and the uppermost layer of the planet, the crust. By the way, the upper mantle forms magma, or lava, which is what comes out of volcanoes. The crust is covered by soil, which we call Earth. The inside of the planet is constantly moving, and when this movement is especially strong, we can feel it on the surface. That is what is called an earthquake. Sometimes earthquakes are weak, but sometimes they're strong. In North America, 
Earthquakes usually happen in California or in the St. Lawrence Valley. In some countries, they never occur at all, and in others, very often. Now we will learn why the nighttime comes after the daytime and why the seasons change. The Earth rotates on its own axis. In other words, it spins around like a top. When one side of the planet turns toward the sun, it is day on that side, and on the other, night. The Earth spins completely around in 24 hours. This is called a day. And over this period, the morning dawns, then comes the daytime, the evening, and the nighttime. Now, you try to rotate the Earth around its axis and watch the changes. Our planet consists of two hemispheres, the northern and the southern. And the Earth revolves not only around itself, but also around the sun. Also, the Earth tilts slightly to the side, so the sun heats it unevenly. We live in the northern hemisphere. When it is closer to the sun, it is summer for us. And when it is further away, winter. Our planet makes one complete revolution around the sun in 365 days. This is called a year. On the picture, try to turn our hemisphere of the Earth toward the sun. Look out of the window. What is the season of the year? Try to place the Earth in the picture the same way. Although our planet is called Earth, in reality, a large part of the planet is covered by water. Seas, oceans, rivers, lakes, and even puddles. When the sun warms the planet, the water evaporates and rises in the form of steam into the lower atmosphere. As you already know, it is colder up there than it is on the ground. So the steam forms into rain clouds, as well as regular clouds. When the steam in the rain clouds cools, it turns back into water that can no longer remain up in the air, and it falls to the ground in the form of rain. If it happens in the winter, then the water freezes and turns into snow. In the spring, the snow melts and again turns into water. The water soaks into the soil, and thanks to it, the trees and mushrooms grow. In addition, the water ends up back in the rivers and lakes, and when the sun warms it, the water again turns into steam, and it starts all over again from the beginning. That is what we call the water cycle. Thank you for watching. Now don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up for new app demos every single day.